When the Jones family arrived home after the disastrous birthday party, they sat down in the living room to try to figure out what had just happened and what they should do next. Lily was still in shock about the whole scene. She couldn't believe what she had witnessed Kevin doing and saying. Jason was still shouting, complaining about his injuries and demanding that someone take him to the hospital. Just then, one of the young Jones men announced from the doorway, Grandma, President Wright of West Chicago International has arrived. They all looked at each other wondering what this could be about. West Chicago International had a fine reputation in the Chicago area, and pretty much throughout the world for that matter. So even President Wright was stopping by to wish Grandma a happy birthday in person? Grandma Jones sure was famous. However, Grandma didn't look too happy about her visitor. For one thing, she didn't know President Wright. In fact, she'd never even met her once. Of course, Grandma didn't want to insult her guests, so she sent everyone to greet her at the door. Hello, Mrs. Jones. About a dozen bodyguards followed Adriana as she strode into the Jones family mansion. Grandma replied sweetly, I've heard many wonderful things about you. It's an honor to see you here today. One of the younger Jones men commented to his cousin, So our family has connections with the West Chicago International Group? I never knew we had so much influence. As Adriana walked into the room, there was a low murmur as everyone started whispering to each other. I'm very sorry that I wasn't able to meet you at the door, President Wright, Grandma Jones said with a smile. Adriana searched the room with her eyes and then shocked them all by asking, Mrs. Jones, is Kevin here today? I'm sorry, President Wright. Kevin isn't here at the moment. The disappointment was visible on Grandma Jones's face. Since Kevin isn't here, I won't take up any more of your time. Adriana motioned for one of her bodyguards to place a beautifully wrapped gift box on the table. This is a small token of my esteem. Happy birthday. After saying this, Adriana turned around and left with her entourage. Jason's face fell, and he wasn't the only one in the room who looked shocked. Why were all of these rich, powerful people looking for Kevin? What the hell was going on? Someone go get Kevin and bring him back here. Grandma Jones barked at her family. Lily reacted first and immediately rushed out of the room. Bradley followed closely behind her. Then Grandma sent the young Jones men out of the mansion with orders to find Kevin and bring him to her. They weren't to return until they'd found him. Lily quickly took out her phone as she hurried toward the street. As she walked, she dialed Kevin's number. He answered after a couple of rings and she asked excitedly, Where are you? I'm on my way home. Don't worry, Lily. I'll go and pack my things. I'll be gone by the time you get home, Kevin replied coldly. No, please wait for me. I'm on my way, Lily practically shouted. After Lily hung up the phone, she stopped a taxi that was passing by. When Bradley saw her getting into a taxi, he hurried to the parking lot and jumped in his car. Half an hour later, Lily arrived at home. When she got out of the cab, she was surprised to see Bradley running towards her. This wasn't something she wanted to deal with right now. Bradley grabbed Lily's wrist and asked her, Lily, what are you doing here? Did you forget something at home? He gave her a strange look and then continued, As soon as you finish, come back with me. Grandma is about to make an announcement to everyone about our marriage. Let me go, Lily struggled to say. I'm not going with you. Are you here to see Kevin? Bradley took a deep breath and his eyes burned with anger when he thought about Kevin. I have to admit that I underestimated him, but he's out of your life now. And Grandma has agreed to let me marry you. Don't you see? Now you can be my wife. Let the bastard go. Bradley was starting to get anxious. His biggest worry was that the birthday gift that he bought for Grandma was a fake. Once the family had it appraised, they would figure out his true intentions and his whole plan would be exposed. Bradley was desperate. His only way into the Jones family was through Lily. After that, he planned on taking advantage of Grandma Jones's love for him. Then he could use the Jones family fortune to help him make a comeback. Bradley felt a little excited when he realized he would be able to kill two birds with one stone. No, I have to see Kevin one last time. Lily hesitated for a moment before she continued. Bradley, I don't care what Grandma said. I'm not going to marry you. Why? Do you really like that bum? 
Bradley roared angrily. Holy crap, Bradley. I've been married to him for three years. Do you think I could have spent that much time with him if I didn't have some feelings for him? It was hard for Lily to admit it, even to herself, but she did have feelings for Kevin. No, you have to come with me right now, Bradley roared. He started to pull at her arm and Lily tried to pull herself away from him. While they were struggling like this, a black car slammed on its brakes and stopped at the side of the road. Dorothy quickly got out. Lily, Bradley, what are you two doing here? Dorothy said. Why aren't you back at the mansion? Grandma is going to announce your marriage. Lily gritted her teeth and replied, No, I'm not going back. I have to see Kevin. Bradley looked in Dorothy's eyes and then turned to Lily. He came up with an idea and forced a smile. It's still very hot outside. Why don't you and Lily get in the car and cool off? Then you can talk some sense into her. Inside, Dorothy smiled and said, Lily, look at how considerate Bradley is. He only wants what's best for you. That bum Kevin wouldn't think of doing something like this. Lily, let's head straight back to Grandma's. Why would you want to stay with Kevin anyway? After Dorothy said this, she handed her car keys to Bradley. Bradley grinned as he got into the driver's seat and locked the doors. What Dorothy and Lily didn't know was that Bradley had put child locks on the car door. They wouldn't be able to leave. Bradley, pull over. I want to go home to Kevin, Lily demanded. Can't do. I told you I would do whatever it takes to make you mine. And now that I have you, I'm not letting you go, Bradley threatened. Lily tried to get out of the car, but it was too late. She and her mother, Dorothy, were locked inside. The black car slowly drove away. Kevin, who had been watching from the window, saw everything. An hour later, Bradley parked outside of an ominous house and brought a rope over to tie both Dorothy and Lily up before bringing them inside. Help! Someone come quickly! Dorothy shouted, but to no avail as Bradley threw them in a dark back room. Hours later, Bradley returned to the room and nodded to both Lily and Dorothy who were tied up on the ground and screaming for help. Bradley was drying his hair with a towel as he walked into the room. You really ought to save your strength. Even if you scream until you're hoarse, no one will hear you. Bradley, let us go this instant. You'll never get away with this. Dorothy was in a panic. She couldn't believe that the man she thought would make the perfect son-in-law would actually do something like this. Shut the hell up, Bradley yelled angrily. Then he grabbed Dorothy's hair and said, I'm ruined. After all of these years of hard work, I've got nothing left. Lily was completely stunned to hear this. What? she said. Didn't you buy the Dream Lover necklace for me? Even though Bradley had told her over the phone that it wasn't him, she thought he was lying so she wouldn't worry about him. After all, an authentic dream lover was really too expensive. Bradley laughed at her naivety. Ha, Lily, you really don't think I'd buy you a real dream lover, do you? You're not that special, Bradley added with a sneer. I was just toying with you. Bradley let go of Dorothy's hair and knelt down in front of Lily. He looked into her eyes. It was a cold, harsh look. Then he put his hand under her chin. Hi guys, Kevin here. Listen to full episodes of Insta Empire exclusively on the Pocket FM app. Click the link in the description to install the app now.